Hey everybody, welcome back. So today what we're gonna do is get caught up on lineup videos. So because I'm still woefully behind in my memory keeping planner, we're going to do both the May kit lineup and the June kit lineup because never did a May kit lineup and I have everything for June and it's about to be June, so let's just get on into it. So we got May over here, June over here. Let's jump into it. So let's take a look back at May. Um, the reason why kit lineup videos haven't really gone up on time is mostly because, or on time, whatever, who's holding me to a schedule other than myself? I have been ordering stuff kind of late the last couple of months just to keep on budget, so for now I think these should go up on time, the, at least this summer, because I've pretty much got everything for the summer. But that's kind of why I haven't been filming them when they're the most relevant, because like... I didn't have the stickers in hand, you know? So, I forgot to pull out my notes. Alright, so for the first week of May, so May 1st, beautiful, love when the month starts on a Monday, through May 7th, I am commemorating Star Wars because of May 4th, so I'm going to use my leftovers from Scribble Pins Co. Kit Batu Bound. I used this last year when we went to Disneyland because it was like my first time writing Rise of the Resistance and all that. So. You know, these are just the kit leftovers. I still have several full boxes left over and a lot of deco because I think I used the date covers already. So I didn't use as much deco last time. There's hardly anything left on this sheet, but that is fine. So this was the ultimate kit. So there's still plenty of stuff left over, especially half boxes. And that should work out because I'm pretty sure I was just working a lot this week. So half boxes will work just fine. And then to go with that, because I was using leftovers, I let myself get some foil. So this is the Galaxy 2 overlays from Planahanna in, I think, antique gold. And then I have the Galaxy 2 quotes in regular gold. And then I've got some underlays, the Galaxy underlays in both. Um, I think this is called olive and I think this is called pumpkin. Nice <laughs> autumn food colors to go with. So that is going to be for May the 4th that week. Batu bound paired with some Planahanna foil. And then the next week, so May 8th through the 14th, is the week of my birthday. So my birthday was May 14th. So what I'm going to do here is I have this kit that I've been saving from Sadie's stickers that I thought would be really cool for my birthday. And then I might pull in some of these Disney full boxes because we went to Disneyland uh, a couple days before my birthday. Um, I might use these like on the extenders just so it doesn't like clash with anything, but there's still like a nod to my birthday there. Oh, and I've got some other stuff thrown in here too. What do I have here? Oh, I have this like Disney overlay that was a freebie from Planahanna and this happy birthday box that was a freebie from Cinderella paper. So I've never used a Sadie stickers kit before. I do love how they come like pre-foiled, although some of this is getting like, there's something stuck here. I don't know what happened there. These are just very much like my colors, including the foil color and like there's coffee and books and lots of flowers and like this person kind of looks like me. Um, and this will especially go, my husband took me to a coffee tasting for my birthday that was part of his gift to me. So I feel like this will match very nicely. And it's just a pretty May kit. I'm having a hard time flipping through here. So this is just four sheets. Again, I haven't used a kit from Sadie Stickers before. I got this for free with my planner. I love this color, this green color. So we shall see how this goes, but I think it's gonna turn out really pretty just based on how beautiful the artwork is. Like that washi is gorgeous right there. So that will be it for the week of May 8th. Again, my birthday and we went to Disney one of the days. Then the next week is May 15th through the 21st. And this is when we went up to Berkeley for my brother's graduation, my youngest brother's graduation. So originally, I was going to use a kit that I had got for free last year from Cinderella Paper but it was like pink and gray and I didn't think it fit my brother very much. Um, then I saw this art with Apple Blossom Prince and he graduated from Cal, which is blue and gold, and I'm like, perfect. 
So I got that kit. This is the mini kit. I got the mini kit because I wasn't planning on ordering a brand new kit just for this graduation, so I saved a little bit of money there. So I have the Fashion 2 boxes because my brother is a blonde. There's going to be so many. I'm going to have to use, like, all the boxes that say 2023 because, like, that's only going to apply this year. But, yeah, these are the full boxes, the glitter, and the extra full boxes. There's so many full boxes. <laughs> um... Luckily, I didn't do much this week other than grade because it was my student's finals week. So I don't need that many boxes because I pretty much just graded all day, every day. So that's the kit. And then I got Planahanna foil to go with it. So I decided to get the washi overlays in gold just because. I don't normally get washi overlays, but I liked these ones. A lot of patterns for washi overlays I'm not a huge fan of. That's why I don't get them. And then I got the grad overlays again in gold. I can't use this box because it says class of 2024, but that's fine. I should have, I think I have this one left over from last year from my sister's graduation. So I should have enough to go around. And then I've got the grad underlays in gold as well as in navy. And there we go. There are <laughs> the leftovers I have from last year. I don't know what to do with these I did it boxes because like it's not my graduation. It's somebody else's but maybe I should just use it for when I do something cool. I don't know. So yeah, that will be for the week of May 15th through the 21st, the Berkeley graduation. Then for May 22nd through the 28th, I'm a little torn as to whether or not I'm gonna use this, but I think this is what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use leftovers from a Cinderella paper kit called Vineyard. So this is a really old kit format, but there's still quite a few full boxes left over. So I might have to dig into my multicolor collection, my leftovers collection, which is totally fine because honestly, <laughs> that collection is really growing and I need to use some of that stuff up. We didn't go to a vineyard this week, but we did go hiking this weekend. This was right before Memorial Day. And I don't think, I don't know if we're going to be able to go like wine tasting. So I just thought mm, the hills kind of match. I don't know. There was nothing wine related this week, but I just kind of want to use up this kit, especially because it's in an old format. So to go with that, I've got Wildflowers from Planahanna, the underlays in, I think this is called Burgundy. And then I've got the leaves pattern in Olive. So that will be for the last full week of May. So that's the May kit lineup. These are the weeks that have already happened now that I'm currently filming. So let's go ahead and get into June. So then if we flip over to June, the week of May 29th through June 4th, I'm planning to use a pride kit. Um, so I think this is called Love is Love from Cinderella Paper. So I'll just go ahead and flip through this kit. So locally, there's a pride event the weekend that this uh, kit would be used in. So that would be why I'm using it um, pretty early. If we don't go to that event, I'll probably use it the week after that because I think LA Pride is that weekend. I don't think we're planning to go to LA Pride, um, but like a smaller Pride event is definitely up our alley. So that's why I'm planning to use it this very first week that's like not even fully June. So that's the kit. And then I pulled, I have this like rainbow freebie from Planahanna that I thought I could use. It doesn't quite match this like pastel rainbow, but what better time to use it than then? And then I wanted to remind myself to use some of my Taylor quotes from Planahanna. So I feel like this sheet has the most relevant quotes too, um, like the idea of pride. So that will be for May 29th through June 4th, or I'll move it to the next week if we don't end up going to that pride event. And then the week after that, June 5th through the 11th. This was the other kit I was thinking about using the last week of May. And I might change my mind and go back. I'm not sure. We did go get burgers, or I ate a burger that week. But I don't know. I think I might save this for June. 
So this is called Foodie by Cinderella Paper. And the ones that have full kits, I don't use foil with unless I have like freebies or something like that. So this is what I'm going to be using that week. I really don't have a lot of tangible plans for June. I just finished my grading period. So I'm going to take this week to kind of relax and then hopefully make some fun summer plans. But So I don't exactly know what I'm doing this week other than it's my nephew's birthday that weekend. So maybe this would make sense for a 15-year-old's birthday. <laughs> And then the week after that is one of my sister's birthdays, and she did not get a birthday designated kit last year because I, I think her birthday fell the same week as Juneteenth. So I used a Juneteenth kit. So this year I'm going to use a kit dedicated to, like, I don't know. This just reminds me of her. So uh, this is Cinderella Paper's Summer Days. Can't exactly explain why this reminds me of her, but I feel like it does. So we're going to go ahead and use it this week. This is my youngest sister, who's going to be 20, y'all. How is my youngest sister going to be 20? I was 11 when she was born. Oh, boy. I'm getting... I'm not old. I don't know. I'm in a weird period of my life where I'm like, am I old? Am I young? I really don't know. So, yeah, that'll be for the week of June 12th through the 18th. And then June 19th through the 25th, we have a wedding that we have to go to. So I'm going back into the archives. Oops. This was a kit. This is called Hitched from Cinderella Paper. This is a very old format of this kit. I'm pretty sure I bought this back in 2020 because I was like, oh, we'll probably have weddings to go to. And then, you know, 2020 happened. Um... So I've just been saving it, and I figured might as well use it this week. So this has been totally reformatted. I think she still has this art, um, but this is an old format of it. I just want to get it out of my collection. So there's full boxes, extra full boxes in washi, more extra full boxes, checklists, headers. Like, this is so old format. Little things. <laughs> Glitter headers and work labels and half boxes, icons, rounded half boxes and washi, and there you go. So that's what we'll be using the week of June 19th through the 25th. Um, there's been a lot of wedding kits that have come out since then. I used a lot of them this year already. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and use up this one. And then finally, the week of... June 26th through July 2nd. I got a bunch of freebies of this art from Cinderella Paper. This kit is called Happy Place and I still have leftovers from using this kit last year so I thought I would just go ahead and use it even though I've used this art last year um, because the alternative was using leftovers from the kit that I already used this year so I would like to kind of break up how many times I'm using the same art in my planner. Basically we've got a couple freebies with full boxes and then she sent me like a whole mini kit as a freebie. So I have these leftovers as well. I used this last year for my other sister's birthday who doesn't get a birthday kit this year because it's the same week as that wedding. <laughs> so yeah, if you have a May or June birthday, it's hard to thematically fit in a perfect kit for your birthday, sorry. I have another leftover full box. This is all the leftovers from last year. I think I used that kit twice last year. I do really like the art. I love burnt orange and yellow. So, like, I don't mind reusing it. And then I also have leftovers from another kit that was kind of like a similar color palette. This was called Arizona. Oh, this I have some washi, but I have washi here, too. Okay. Um, and this is called Arizona, and I used this the week that we got engaged. But the colors definitely match this Happy Place kit. So I just threw those in there as well. So that is the June lineup. So let me, I gotta grab everything now. So let's go backwards. Last week of June, second to last week of June, except now I have all the cello bags over here. June 12th, June 5th, and of course, starting off the month, we've got 
Pride for Pride Month. So that's everything for June. And then looking back at May, we've got the last full week of May. The graduation week in the middle of May with the extra full boxes. My birthday, also in the middle of May. And then back at the very beginning of May, we've got Star Wars. So that is going to be everything for May and June. Stay tuned over here because we're going to get into a lot of plan with these really soon now that I'm on summer and I have time to film to my heart's content. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this made up for the fact that... May was super late and April was too. And I'm pretty sure March just didn't even exist. I don't even know. Uh, I will talk to you next time. Bye. Okay, dude, grown man skateboarding in the middle of the day, whatever. Um, <laughs>